Hi everyone, I'm Roland Tagufa and welcome to my YouTube channel. Our uh, tutorial is still about stairs and railings and it is now part 16 of our tutorial. So this is now the last topic that we're going to discuss regarding this uh, tutorial and the next topic that we're going to discuss is about uh, documentation. We will move into another uh, topic now. We will move to another course now. It's about documentation. And now that uh, uh, it is the last uh, topic that we are going to discuss now about these uh, stairs, we're going to make a purely railings only. Uh, we're going to make this uh, parapet wall. And uh, this parapet wall, the uh, first topic is parapet wall. And this parapet wall, we're going to uh, host it into a topo surface. And now the next topic that uh, we're going to create is that uh, we're creating this uh, glass railings with the curtain wall tools. So we will make like this. We're gonna make a glass railing like this and we will use this curtain wall, this curtain wall as our tools. And uh, guys, before we continue, if you are new to my channel, please uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Alright guys, let's get started. Now guys, uh, my Revit is open. And uh, next that we're going to do is uh, we're going to make it different. We're going to first create a families. So I'll go to this new. And then I'll go to this English. And then uh, I will make a metric rail profile. So I'll make a profile and open it. And then uh, next that uh, we will do, we're going to change this uh, unit, UN. And uh, I'm going to make it in centimeters. So centimeters and two decimal places. And then OK. And then OK. Then I'll move this rail up. And uh, next that uh, we will do is... Uh, we're going to create similar like this and we're going to offset this into uh, maybe uh, 10 and also 10 here and also I'm going to offset this 90 and there I'll move this uh, rail up. You just move this up, drag it up, and attach it. Then uh, next, uh, we're gonna make a line. So I'll make a line. Uh, maybe I'm going to create again another one here create similar and just uh, offset this into 5 cm here and 5 cm also there and now next that uh, we will do we're gonna make uh, a, a, a detail line di or a li model line and I'll make uh, a model line like this And then also here, make a more 45 degrees here, and here, and uh, also 45 degrees there. 
and here and then uh, I'll just uh, trim extend the corner here and also this one and also this and this one and uh, make a distance di and also this one di and we will make a parameter parameter and uh, we'll name this one w1 and then also here di and we'll make this one also w2 and then here we will make this one height h and uh, okay let's see if this is flexing so i'll just uh edit this make it uh make it 100 now it's flexing and then I'll return back to 90 and here also we will check if it's flexing take this one 10 and uh, I'll undo because the constraint is gone I'll just constrain it the I i for dimension and i will constrain this and make it equal and then again i'll check this one and make it 10 now it's okay make it again 20 and it's okay and also this one uh maybe i need to constrain this also it equal and uh, we will uh, again edit this 40 and uh, undo I forgot to lock it we will lock it And then let's see if it's uh, flexing make it 40 and uh, again it's not flexing here so And uh, let's align this and then lock it and then uh, again we'll create the uh, DI and uh, we will uh, place this one as our W2 and let's check if it's flexing 40 now it's flexing Make it uh, back to 30. Now it's okay. Uh, now next uh, that we will do is uh, we're gonna save this. Save. And we will name it uh, ERF for profile. And then uh, parapet wall and make it as one and then okay and then save and then uh, next that we will do is uh, we're gonna go to home tab and we will create a project architecture and then okay and then in our project we will uh, uh, make a, a unit change a unit 
and I will change my unit into meters meters and then uh, make it to decimal places and then okay and then okay and then uh, next that uh, we will do we're gonna load this into project I load it into project and now it is loaded and then next that uh, we will do is uh, we're gonna create a railing so I'll create a railing and now in railing I'll just uh, edit this railing and uh, I'm going to duplicate it and I will name it uh, parapet and then okay and then I'll go to this edit type and I'm going to insert a rail and I will name this one rail one and uh, I'll go to this uh, default profile and uh, I'll choose this uh, PRF parapet wall and I'll go to this category material and uh, I'll select concrete concrete cast in situ and then ok and then uh, apply then ok and then I'll go to this uh, preview and there it is and I'm going to remove this uh, up rail and I'll go to this baluster placement and then ok and then just uh, make this one none and also uncheck this and then I'll make this one none and then also none and then also none and then apply and then ok and then apply and then ok and now next uh, we're gonna make a line so I'll make a line and I'll make this line about uh, maybe 2 meters 2 meters and then I'll finish it and then uh, in 3D it is like this so there is our parapet wall now next that uh, we will do is uh, we're gonna uh, host this into a topo surface so I'll go to this massing at first I will open this site uh, project browser browser I'll click this site double click it and I'll go to this uh, massing and site and I'll go to this uh, topo surface so next, uh, I'm going to make a line. So next that uh, I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to offset this to one. We'll just uh, make a chasm. And then again, offset two. And then I make this one elevation 3. And then make this one elevation 4. Then I'll make another one elevation 5. And then uh, I'll just uh, make this here, here, and here. So, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, finish this. And now this is our parapet. I'll just uh, move a little bit. And uh, I'll make this one uh, our view range. Of view range is 100 already. So I'll go to this uh, 3D and in 3D our topo is like this and there is our parapet. So I'll go to this uh, realistic and then I'll just uh, touch this uh, parapet that we have just created. Like that and then I will host it into our wall and there it is. Now here is our parapet, it's standing on this uh, chasm. So what I'm going to do, I'll go to this site and then uh, 
I'll just uh, make this one. I'll just touch that and make an array. I'll make an array and then uh, I'll go here and then uh, maybe here. And you can make an array of uh, maybe around uh, 10. And there is our parapet wall. So in 3D, here is our parapet wall. Now we can make parapet wall like this. You can move that. You can move it and uh, you see as you are moving it, the spacing will become more and more. Just uh, move this one. And spacing will become more and uh, again you can uh, make this uh, 11 it goes outside now make it uh, 10 you're gonna move this also and now uh, you can make this one also as uh, Maybe 15. Or maybe 16. And there it is. In 3D, it is like this. Now we can make a parapet like this. And then, uh, now guys, uh, this is the topic that uh, uh, I want to discuss to you. That uh, even these uh, railings, you can host it into this uh, topo surface so even you can place any contour i'll go i'll go back to site and uh, maybe i'll edit this surface and i'm going to create uh, place a point maybe i'm going to place this one uh, six if i place a point here here And then I'll finish it. As you can see in 3D, this uh, this parapet wall is also adapting the surface of the earth. It's adapting. You see, I have placed it at six. Now it's uh, exactly there at the top of this uh, earth. So guys, uh, this is our first topic and now we're gonna move into our next topic which is uh, this uh, glass uh, glass uh, railings and with the curtain wall tools. Now, like, now next guys, uh, we're gonna save this. I'll save it and then I will close it. I'll name this one uh, uh, Part uh, 16 and uh, option 1 and then OK and then uh, make this one as uh, name parapet and then save and then let's close this. I'll close it. And now next that uh, we will do is uh, we're gonna create again another profile. So I'm going back to these uh, families. Not not a profile, uh, a generic model. I go to these families and English. And I'm going to open this uh, generic model. And then open. And then uh, next that I'm going to do is uh, we're gonna open this front. And uh, I'm going to create uh, a reference plane. Reference plane here. One, two, three, and uh, also here, and also here. So we'll make a distance here, the eye. And 
make this as a uh, change the unit I'll change this into centimeters and two decimal places and then okay and uh, I'll name this uh, as our height H and then uh, I'll make this height uh, maybe 90 centimeter 90 and then uh, just uh, move this and I want to move this also and then uh, make this the eye and uh, want this as the maybe 15 and here my distance here is around uh, 10 and also here the the eye and also here also and make this distance uh, around the uh, in and here also about 10 now guys uh, next that we will do is uh, we're gonna create uh, uh, a sweep I'll create a sweep and then uh, I'm going to make a sketch sketch apart and I'll just sketch it here and then also here and here so I'll make this one dimension and make it equal and then uh, again I'll dimension this and then uh, we're gonna create a parameter and I'll name this one W for a width and then I'll make this as 10 and then also this one the I I dimension this and uh, make this one as our depth D and then I'll change this depth to 5 and then uh, next is uh, we're gonna finish this finish and now we're gonna sketch our profile and I'll go to this front open and then uh, I'm going to create a rectangle so I'll create a rectangle like this make it 5 I move this move want to place it in the middle and then uh, make this one one then I copy this copy and I'll copy it here also here and here now that is our sweep and now let's finish this finish and then finish this mode and then in view it is like this it's like this our view now next that we will do is uh, we're gonna create uh, a revolve I will create a revolve I'm going to this front and then create and I'm going to create a revolve so I'll go to this uh, revolve 
and then in revolve i'll make a, a line maybe two and then uh, i'll go up then uh, again i'll go here and make it one and then again and then uh, four one make it like this whatever shape we can create we can we will create so i think i need to move this a little bit so now i'm going to this uh, our axis line and i'm going to make an axis line here and then i'll finish it and there is our post so I just uh, again uh, make uh, a material associate and then make a material and material post material and then okay okay then also here I'll just uh, again uh, associate this and i'll associate this to this uh, post material and in the post i'll make a material so the material that i'm going to make is uh, let's say uh, stainless steel steel so you select any stainless steel Add this polish then apply then okay then apply then okay and uh, here is our post now next that uh, we will do is uh, we're gonna save this i'll save it save and then uh, i'll name it uh, generic model underscore post or uh, glass glass railing post and then option and then one and then okay uh, and then save and save it and then next that uh, we will do i'll go back to our home and then i'm going to this family new and then in family i go to this english and we will gonna create a curtain wall uh, curtain wall panel this curtain wall panel open and then open and here we are uh, at this reference level i want to place it uh, in front so i'll open this uh, exterior or interior i'll open any uh, this is already open exterior is open there and uh, next that uh, we will do is uh, first uh, we're gonna load our uh, post this post that we have created we will load it into this project load and then uh, i'll just uh, go here in our reference level and place it here at the center and the other one i will place it here at the center also and then here in our uh, exterior it's like this and next that i'm going to do i need to lock this and then uh, lock and then also here uh, and then again align and then lock and then lock now next that uh, we will do is uh, we're gonna 
make a uh, an extrusion so i'll make an extrusion and uh, make this extrusion like this just uh, make a rectangle And also here, I will make an extrusion here also. Make this uh, maybe around the uh, around. Make it around uh, 10 and also here want to make this one around 10 and the bi how much is this make this one uh, 150 And make this one around 10. Then our extrusion, I'll make it uh, maybe around uh, 1.5 and then negative 1.5, 3, and then uh, I'll finish it. And then uh, in view. like this then I'll go back to this exterior and uh, want to lock this make a uh, okay, similar I'll just uh, make this uh, here and also here create similar and then uh, I want to align this align lock and also this one line line and lock then again align this again line and I align this then lock and also this one I like this also. And I like this and block. And uh, in our uh, reference level, it is like this. So our uh, our top of this uh, extrusion is small so make it around uh, 3 or make it 5 5 mm and then this one will become 10 5 mm also so it will become 10 mm and there it is now next uh, that we will do is uh, I want to move this move Uh, make this one uh, 0 and make this one negative 5 10 uh, negative 10 
that this one will move inside or take this one uh, positive 10 and then this one is moving there inside now next that we will do is uh, we're gonna make our wall curtain wall so i'm going to make our wall so i'll go to create and make an extrusion and just uh, make a triangle triangle like square right square like this and uh, now I'm going to extrude this make this one uh, zero and make this one uh, let's say around uh, 2 mm make this one around uh, ok in uh, ok and then uh, in our reference level it is like this so I want this one to be at the middle make this one uh, one make this one uh, three uh, maybe this one is uh, five and this one is uh, two make it six this one is uh, three now it's in the middle now make it more make it seven and make this one uh, eight like that now uh, we're gonna place our uh, material for this and uh, I'll name it uh, curtain wall material and then okay and then okay then I go to this uh, or a family type and I will make a glass or oh, glass just type a glass I want this glass uh, around like this bronze glazing then apply then okay then apply then okay and there it is now in our view it is like this and in our uh, uh it is, it is like this and there is our glass it's inside in uh, our uh, stereo it is like this that one so that uh, this one is uh, will not move now here it is uh, guys this is our uh, model our family I'll just uh, again uh, show you in 3d it is like this and then uh, next uh, we're gonna save this save and I will name this one uh, Uh, curtain wall, curtain panel uh, railings na? railings and then make it option make it one and then ok and then save and then uh, next uh, we'll close some of these close just close some of these and then just open this uh, our glass 
and then uh, we'll go to home and I'm going to create a new project new and then I'll go to this uh, architecture template and then okay and then uh, next that we will do guys is uh, we're gonna load this into project this one we'll load it into project uh, just wanted to have uh, this one uh, Remove this. We just align it. And then uh, I will align this also. Then again, save. Then again, load into project. Now I load it into project. Now next that we will do is uh, we're gonna create a wall, and I'm going to select this uh, curtain wall. And in curtain wall, I'm going to this edit type, and in edit type, I'm going to select this. Uh, curtain wall that we have just created uh, what is that name uh, curtain panel railings I just select that one and then apply and then ok and now we're gonna create our curtain wall looks like this and then we'll go to this 3d view and it is like this so i'll go to this uh, realistic and it is like this and then guys if you want to make a lot of uh, 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 curtain wall you just go to this uh, grid i'll just make a grid and create a grid like that grid 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 Grid, grid, and grid. Now you see, you can uh, you can move this. Now here is our customized uh, uh, glass railings with curtain wall tools if you want to see this in a very nice view i'll go to level and i'll just make some uh, uh, floor i'll make a floor and then just a square and then again like this we'll place it in our wall and then again i'll place this edit and then uh, make some floor uh, wood Would uh, okay, have it. Uh, it's all floor wood, and then uh, let's finish this. And then uh, we we'll go to this uh, 3D, and there is our very nice. Uh, glass railings you can create like this type of railings hey guys uh, that's it for today we have already concluded our topic uh, regarding these uh, stairs and railings and on our next video we're gonna introduce to you another course another topic which is documentation 
Alright guys, uh, thank you for watching. Allah Hafiz. Till we meet again. Bye-bye.